Let's talk about NVIDIA, right? The chip maker. In just the last hour or so, some reports out, its earnings report, rather, that it beat expectations. Its third quarter revenue was like $35 billion. Time out. This isn't CNBC. Why does this matter? Let me explain. NVIDIA is making like twice as much money this year as it did last year. Why? Remember, they're the maker of those chips that power so much of the AI technology that's just booming. It is a huge industry. So that's what's happening there. What do investors think? What do Wall Street, what does Wall Street think? Well, I don't know, still like TBD, the stock's down a little bit in after hours trading. Uh, Caleb Silver is joining us now. And Caleb, NVIDIA is one of the biggest trading companies in the world. It's like 7% of the S&P 500 value. All of these numbers came in, of course, um, huge for NVIDIA. What does it mean for sort of the broader tech industry and AI industry? Yeah, NVIDIA is a once in a generational company in the yeah. very center of the AI revolution. What does it do? It makes graphic processing units, chips, and other equipment for the AI revolution. It's powering huge data centers. Its customers are the biggest customers in the world, the Microsofts of the world, the Oracles of the world, and demand, according to the CEO Jensen Wong, who's become a superhero of a CEO, is full steam, and it's incredible for its chips and the chips that it intends to make. Why is it so important? Because it is the most valuable company in the world at $3.56 trillion dollars and it accounts for some eight percent of the S&P 500 it's just so big but it is a zero-sum game when it comes to AI and Nvidia got there first so investors want to see more and more profit growth over time and more and more revenue growth and they put together a profit of 19.3 billion dollars for just one quarter and revenue tripled year over year the U.S. has banned NVIDIA from selling some of its highest-end chips in China. And you've got a lot of, listen, we talked about it with Kier, the sort of geopolitical maneuvering here as it relates to, to Europe, to Ukraine, to Russia. There's also that same dynamic under the Trump administration as it relates to China. Like, a, it's, it's going to be, uh, in some ways, a, a new world order to a degree. That's right. And NVIDIA is right in the middle of that because every big company in the world wants its chips. But if it can't sell to the second biggest market, that could be a problem going forward. But it hasn't been so far. The company continues to double and triple revenue quarter after quarter, year after year, because it got there first producing these superpowered chips that go into the data centers now, but they go into phones, they go into computers, pretty much everything that we use. So it might have a little bit of a challenge there. But remember, it's a zero sum game and all the biggest companies in the world want its chips or are making their own to compete with it. But right now, NVIDIA is the story, and it moves markets. Stock barely down in after hours here. It was down a lot more right after the earnings report. So far, so good. But investors want to see even more profit growth and even more revenue growth over the next several quarters. All right, Caleb, you're trailing off into CNBC land a little bit. We'll keep you, we'll keep you in, in plain English land here. I hear you. Um, bottom line, huge company, big deal. Fair? Very big deal, big company, and you, this company is going to be around for a very long time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.